guys well we're out here at the airport it has been a while um, I don't even know where we're at in this video to be honest with you I have um, been gone for a week I was actually overseas for work um, for a while but I am back now um, finished up the assembly today got all the safety wire done my mechanic was just here uh, AMPIA and he went through everything looked at it um, we started the engine went through a run-up rechecked everything I just started the engine by myself Went through a run-up, checked everything. Um, he's got my log books, everything like that, so he's gonna fill all that stuff in for me. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick short flight over to the airport where he is at um, and use that as the initial test flight here because this was kind of a major, not kind of, it was a major repair. Um, and you know, as, as you guys know, the most common time for something to happen is after a major repair. So I think we've done all we can do on the ground, a couple of run-ups, things like that. I'm gonna do, um, I can't hear me because of that wind. I'm gonna take off and then stay over this airport for a minute. If everything looks good and feels good, then I'm gonna head over to um, the other airport to visit my mechanic and, and we'll take one more quick look at it after the flight. And man, oh man, this is the hopefully the end of a long, long repair replacing that starter. So um, no cameras, but I'll tune back in when we get to where we're going. Peace. That worked like a charm. It was a beautiful morning. Those clouds are at like 17,000 feet. They're not supposed to come down all day. So it's gonna be beautiful. Low winds all day, clear skies, cold air, high density. She gonna love it. She gonna love it. <laughs> South Carolina. I know it's worse elsewhere in the country, but it's cold here too. Airplane oil is like molasses when this is cold, man. All right, fuel selector valve is on the right tank. It's what I want to burn off of for now. All right, we'll do our run up when we get down there. We're going to two three. Berkeley County traffic, Moody two seven one one whiskey on the ramp. Uh, taxiing up to runway two three. Looks like we're number two. Berkeley County. And Berkeley County, Seneca 41249, departing runway 23 to the southwest. Any other traffic in the pattern, please advise. All right, down here at 23, looks like we're number two behind this Seneca. Perfect. Get our run up done while we're waiting. 1700, pressures look good. Everything down here looks amazing. We are charging. Fuel flow looks good as well. Suction looks good. Let's go two left. Two right. One left. One right. Get some oil on that prop. Here we go. One. And two four nines rolling. Two. Three. Berkeley County. Three. Okay. Suction left and right mags are good. Prop, 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 and throttle before our takeoff flight controls. Correct. Fuel selector handle still good. Flaps to one. Mixture and prop cow flaps are good. Uh, power boost is closed. Fuel pump will bring that on along with the strobe and the mixture when we roll out. Uh, nav lights, landing lights, seat belts are on. Double check this freaking door. Good to go. Pilot window is closed. Retraction lever, we do have clearance. Beautiful. Got my coffee. Not going to spill. Expect the engine to die on takeoff when it does. I'm going to push forward, no hesitation, and find a place to land immediately. Um, if I look back here and I don't see airspeed after I'm done checking these gauges, I know that something is wrong on board the takeoff. Okay, here we go. Fuel pump coming on, snow butt coming on. Make sure it's full rich. Here we go. Berkeley County traffic, Moody 2711 Whiskey. Uh, taking off one way, two tree will be departing to the northeast, Berkeley County. Looks like we're taking off of the tailwind. Here we go. Okay, pressures are good, RPM look good. Instruments are in the green. There's our airspeed already. Nice and easy. Tap the brakes. Gear's coming up. Gear's up and locked. Holy cow, that was smooth. I love this cold, smooth air. 
Okay, positive rate. I can get your flaps are coming up. 120 mile an hour, climbing at 1,200 feet a minute. I love it. 1,300 feet a minute. And there's 500. Come back on the power. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I'm going to park this way. Because there's traffic that way. Berkeley County traffic, Mooney 2711. Let's get departing off the upwind for 2 3. Gonna make a right turn out to the northeast. Last call, Berkeley County. Okay. All my en engine instruments are still looking good. We're burning a little bit too much fuel here. Lean her out. We want to monitor our cylinder four. Landing lights coming off. Boost bumps coming off. Everything else looks good. Get this heat rolling here. Whoo. Chilly in here. Yeah, Charleston approach. Good morning. Mooney 2711 Whiskey uh, via part request. November 2711 Whiskey. Uh, what's your report, Yasso? Oh, we're just outside of Monk's Corner. 2711 Whiskey, Roger. And, uh, what's your request? Uh, looking for VFR flight following up to Whiskey 17. That's W17. Uh, we're Mooney M20 Papa. And looking to go there at 11,500 feet. All right, well, while we're waiting on this uh, flight following, I'll tell you guys a quick little story here. So, I had been working on the airplane, and I was really worried um, that I had been maybe doing something I shouldn't have been doing. So, like I said, the mechanic came out. He um, came out, tried to help me, and kind of told me he didn't feel comfortable doing that, which I respected. Um, I actually appreciated it. Drove all the way out to the airport just to talk to me. So, um, I appreciated that. Um, but anyway, I worked with my mechanic, got this starter replaced. It was a huge pain. Um, and it was a, a ton of work. But the new starter works amazing. Um, it's, it's a huge improvement. It's lighter weight. I gained like eight or nine pounds and uh, useful load. So, um, I'm really happy with it. Obviously, it's a bummer that it broke, but that is what it is. Um, and like I said, we're flying, so everything's good. I had a good Christmas. Um, you know, luckiest guy in the world. I got to spend Christmas with my wife and my kids. It was amazing. And uh, now here it is two days after Christmas, and I'm flying for the second day in a row. Um, headed up to North Carolina to visit some friends. So um, I'll save some camera battery until we get a little bit closer. Hopefully, we can uh, catch this airport. I'm headed to Whiskey 17 in North Carolina. Supposed to be a really small little airport, not much going on there, and um, yeah, no fuel or anything like that, so I'll have to stop on the way home to get some fuel, but it'll be a fun day, I'm excited about it. So, alright, we'll catch you guys back in a little while. Peace. Started our descent down to whiskey yeah, one seven. A kilo change to my frequency one three three point zero. Cameras on the wing and tail are dead because it was cold up there. But my God, man, we saw some cool ground speeds. Cruising at about 160, 170 yeah, knots with the tailwind across the ground. And our descent here were right around 180, 185 knots in the descent. And our one one whiskey. What else are you descending to? Now we're descending to our destination, whiskey one seven. I just love this man. It was so beautiful out up there today. Crystal clear. Really cool, like cloud. Show you this, like really um, cool cloud in front of me that I'm trying to get under because I don't know if there's ice in it, but I'm gonna dip underneath this thing. It's really cool. It's like a long thin cloud. Uh, just, just awesome, man. I love seeing 180 knots across the ground. I always hope someone's tracking my flight when I'm doing this. 
Yeah, for the descent, I just maintain 20 inches of manifold pressure. Four, Smooth air, so it doesn't matter really how fast we go as long as we don't hit d &E, which we're not going to at 500 feet a minute descent. Uh, and I keep everything else the same, and I just make sure that um, I bring in the mixture nice and slow. We don't shock cool anything. Just ease everything in. In the, the Cessna 150, I was lucky to see 90, 95 knots. I don't think I ever saw 95. I think I cruised at like 85 knots, 83, 85 knots. 90 knots was good, I believe. About 95 miles an hour, so yeah, I never saw 95 knots. Watch that manifold pressure on the way down, because it's going to creep up. Only burned about 10 gallons so far, so that's awesome. Uh, let's get the weather down here. Visibility, there. one, zero. 8,000 scattered temperature 2 Celsius 2 point minus 9 altimeter 3 0 3 4 Alright, so there is no weather at the airport that I'm going to, obviously. Um, not obviously, it's a very small airport. It doesn't even have an airport diagram on flight. I did look it up look it up on Google Images, so I got an idea of what it looks like. The airports run north and south. One of them slopes, so it's calm wind, so I'm going to try to land on runway 1. I think that's the one that slopes up. I love morning flights like this, man. Sipping my coffee on the way down from 11,500 feet. Not sure it gets any better than that, guys. Luckiest guy in the world. And this is just extra. My company shuts down between Christmas and New Year's. And I get a week off. And I have been using this week to my full advantage. I've been hanging out with my kids in the morning, snuggling in the in pajamas, watching movies at night, flying during the day, hanging out with my wife after the kids go to bed. I'm having my cake and I'm eating it too, man. I really am. Um, I'm getting to spend so much time with my kids. I work from home and everything, so my kids are almost, one's almost four and one is six years old, and they still love being around us, love hanging out with their mom and dad. I'm soaking it up. Soaking it up. As everyone likes to tell you, it doesn't last. Um, I believe them, so try to enjoy it as much as I as much as I can. Over one two five point three. Over one two five point three. One one whiskey. Yep. And approach. Good morning, Mooney two seven one one whiskey descending through. Uh, or 4,800. November 6, correct, November 2711 Whiskey, O'Reilly Approach, O'Reilly Altimeter 3032. 3032, 11 Whiskey. Oh. Uh, 2168, contact Washington Center, 118.75. Damn, dude. There's towers right ahead of me. Holy shit. Uh, towers. 2,300 feet. Damn! November uh, one one whiskey. Be a far descent to that pilot's discretion. Just use caution for the antenna that you're eleven o'clock and uh, two and a half miles. All right, uh, descent at uh, pilot's discretion. We got the towers in sight. Thanks, one one whiskey. Cool. <laughs> Someone told me about them. And approach. Uh, we can go ahead and cancel flight following uh, for one one whiskey. November one one whiskey. Change to advisory frequency is approved. Squawk VFR. Squawk VFR. And over to seat Thanks for your help. One one whiskey. Uh, 122.8. And Nightdale traffic, Mooney 2711, Whiskey, about uh, 8 miles to the south, uh, planning on overflying midfield and landing runway 1. Nightdale traffic. Alrighty, gas is on the tank, I want it on for now. You know he can come off. Mixtures, good. Prop set switches are set. Landing light, we don't need it right now. Belts are still on, we're landed. And I'm looking for the airport. Five miles away, I should see it. And I tell traffic, Mooney 2711 Whiskey's turning left down, wind runway one. I tell traffic. Okay, below gear speed. Gear's coming down. Down, blocked, pulled, and indicating power comes back. Mixture and prop in. One, two. Pitch for 100. Okay, there it is. Gas on the tank I want. Undercarriage is down and indicating. Mixture's where I want it. Prop is set. Switches are set. Seatbelts are on. We are landing. Nightdale traffic, Mooney 2711. Whiskey's left base for runway one. Full stop, Nightdale traffic. Enter traffic. Chair 
Hurricane Banner Zero Julia, about 10 miles to the uh, southeast. Uh, landing Henderson. Nightdale traffic, Mooney 2711 Whiskey's turning final, runway one, full stop, Nightdale traffic. Whiskey 17. Hey, Ross. Hey, how's it going? Welcome. Hey, Kat. One on whiskey out there, chilling. Quick stop for fuel at Columbus County in uh, North Carolina. Great staff, self-serve fuel, but they came out and pumped it for me anyways. Amazing. Should have another, I don't know, 30 minutes. Ago. 